I made 456 villagers play squid games in hardcore Minecraft. Boop. There they go. This water stream brings the villagers to the first game. The first game is a dropper. When the villagers get to the platform, they are given one minute to explore and choose a spot to drop before water pushes them off the edge. Three, two, one. And now we can watch as all of the villagers come falling down. Oh, look at them go. To build the game, I needed a ton of dripstone. So I built a dripstone farm. Unfortunately, dripstone takes, on average, a hundred minutes to grow one? So it was AFK time. I also needed a lot of concrete, so I built a concrete farm, and then I finally built the actual game. So many making it, but a few unlucky ones, or unskilled ones, are falling and dying. Tragic deaths. What we must do now is, uh... Since some of them get stuck in these little pockets, some of them are very stubborn, as you can see. Oh, rip that guy. So now we must turn that off, and these guys will drop. Goodbye! Ooh, only two of them died. After the first game, I showed the villagers their prize. The games I made aren't the same as the games in the show, because villagers are really stupid, and wouldn't be able to play those. But there are 456 villagers playing deadly children's games for a huge prize, so it's Squid Game. The water at the bottom flows towards a bubble column elevator that brings the villagers to the next game. For the next game, all the villagers are divided into two teams. The villagers will have five minutes to farm as many crops as possible. Ready, set, go! Timer has started. You guys got this. This team is off to a off to an early start. They're already going. But this team is following close behind. All the crops are delivered to over here. So let's check who's winning so far. 2 minutes in and the the beetroot are slightly ahead. To have this game work, I needed to put a hopper under every farmland block. This meant I need a lot of hoppers. So I built a wood farm so that I could craft all the hoppers I needed. Some of them are pulling are pulling a lot of weight here on the team and are just doing all the heavy lifting, while others aren't even farmers. Like, these dudes are losers. Come on, villagers, you guys can do this. I, I'm just cheering for both teams, okay? Four, three, two, one. And that is that is the game. All right, let's see, which team won? The wheat side has 43 wheat, and the beetroot side coming in with 40. Oof. Beetroot just got narrowly beaten by the wheat side. Now, we to release the pillagers. Goodbye. Get him! Can you go in there with a sword, please? It's too slow. Oh, I'm planning on it. Yours lost. I'm sorry, CC. The people that watched this event live on my Twitch bet on which villagers would win, so that's why some of them are named. Now, if you don't already think I'm a sociopath for killing these villagers, wait till you hear how I got them. I played a game with some of the villagers. I'll give you an emerald if you beat me in a dance battle. If you lose, you're coming with me, though. Ready? Go. Bro's not even dancing. I win. You're coming with me. I took those villagers and put them in a villager breeder. They now officially have the job of baby maker. Each villager made over 75 babies. I built the farm as a hill so the winning team could be moved with water to the third game. The third game that the villagers will be playing is dodgeball. In this game, the villagers step on pressure plates that send a signal to a dispenser to shoot an arrow at the enemy team. Like in regular dodgeball, when you're out, your team can still win. So in this game, to get someone out, you have to knock them off the back of their platform. But when they get out, they don't die because their team could still win, and if their team wins, they get to live. Now every single one is on the field. We have already had some casualties. As you can see, these guys are already out. The majority are staying on one side. They're, they're using some kind of huddle strategy, and a few of them are getting knocked off. His friend is helping him out. He's pushing him back. You may have noticed that arrows are being shot from the dispensers and wondered why the villagers aren't dying. This is because I learned that snowballs don't do knockback when shot out of a dispenser, so I needed to get arrows of instant healing so the villagers don't die but do get knocked back. I turned off the particles to reduce lag. This was by 
far the most expensive game, because arrows of healing can be crafted, but not easily, so I had to use villagers and trade thousands of emeralds for arrows of instant healing. I also needed the redstone signals to not interact with each other, which meant instead of using redstone dust to carry the signal in a straight line, I needed to use observers. Fortunately for me, I'm a redstone genius and figured out that I could use scaffolding to send the signal upwards, which saved me a lot of observers. Oh, there has been a comeback! There's been a little bit of a shift in the tides! Look at that! These ones have now fallen! Oh! Oh, that one just fell! Oh, that- that dude's zooming! He's shooting so many arrows. Oh, rest in peace, that guy. And they start running around again. Oh, two ju two blue just fell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Blue team has lost. Goodbye, team. Second betting time. Halfway through all the games, my Twitch viewers were able to bet on the villagers once more. The fourth game is Infection. Infection is tag, but when someone gets tagged, they become another tagger. So when the zombie kills a villager, the villager becomes a zombie villager and also tries to kill the villagers. The villagers are given a minute to explore this indoor playground before a zombie in the middle is released. Rip that guy, he just fell into the same hole as him. I don't know why this zombie hasn't killed him yet though. I think it's about time that we start this next game in three, two, and one. And our zombie is out. Oh, he's going upstairs. Oh, he almost got one. The zombie does quite a lot of damage. I believe he two shots each villager, so. The villagers have to survive three minutes before iron golems are released to kill the zombies. Oh, he's chasing them. Oh, he got one. That's our first. Oh, they got two. And now it spreads. Once you get a few, it really spreads fast. We got four now. All right. They have two minutes left. Those guys have... Oh, that guy picked up a freaking... A concrete block. Oh, this guy's running. Look at him juking them. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're all in this corner. Oh, look at him run. We have one minute left. Oh, look at them all get stuck right there. Oh, they just got converted. Oh, rip. Rip that dude. Look at him. He's about to die. Oh, he's still alive. Oh my gosh, what a tank. We have 30 seconds left. These guys are all crowded. Oh, that guy is getting destroyed. Oh, he made it out though. Oh, five, four, three, Two, one, release the iron golems. They've made it, and the iron golems are coming in to deal with all the zombies. As you can see, the iron golems just very quickly destroy all the zombies. The next game, we're gonna open up these doors. This is the Flora's Lava. 37, 38, 39, 40. The Flora's Lava is a game where the villagers must make it through this obstacle course. Oh, look at him go, dude. Oh, look at these guys, they're they're moving. Oh, let's see, are they gonna make it? Oh, no! Oh, these guys are going. Are they gonna make it? Oh, that one made it. Oh, but he fell. Oh, this one's my make it. Oh, we have our first winner! They're being very careful. Not too many of them are dying just because of the chains. Oh, that guy sucks. So bad at jumping. Oh, look at him. Go, Bokchess! I bel- oh! Owie. <laughs> I didn't expect them to push me off. Oh, go. Oh, look at him go. Oh, let's see. Will they do it? Oh. Oh, no. He turned around and slipped. He's going. Let's see. Will he make it? Oh, he made the first. Oh, he misses the jump, though. Oh, he's speeding through it. Look at him go. Oh, look at him speed. Oh, look at him. Oh, and they all made it. He was walking fast enough where he just walked across the gap. Oh, and we have all of our winners. Let's see. Who is alive? Oh, no. Oh, no. The final game is Musical Chairs. There is one less composter than there is Villager. When I stop the music, the composters are pulled down and the villagers can access them. At the end of each round, whichever Villager isn't a farmer is eliminated and one composter is removed. Ready? Oh, who was it? It's Bokchess. Goodbye, Bokchess. Oh, he's trying to run. Silly goose, doesn't know that he can't run. Ethan is the only one that's in the inner circle. The inner circle might be kind of big brain just because of the fact that it has access to all of them so easily. Got him. Oh, it's Bokchess again. Pause. Who doesn't have it? Bokchess again. Bokchess getting absolutely rolled. His villagers that he betted on suck, dude. 
it's actually kind of good that it turned out that way, that it's not just based on who has the most points. Oh, who's that? Oh, Bok Chess is fully out. What an L, dude. Bok Chess spent so many points on it, dude. Chat, you guys tell me when to stop. Stop. All right. Rest in peace, Ethan. All right. I'm going to get Chula and see if she can decide. Good girl. All right, Chula, ready? Hit the mouse, okay? Can you hit the mouse button? Oh, she. I think she might have hit the wrong one. Hey, hit it. Oh, there she goes. Who's, who's going to win? Oh. And Anime Slayer wins! Great job, Chula. Thank you for clicking the mouse. Them are here. Goodbye, Parrot. We have our winner! Great job, Anime Slayer. Anime Slayer's villager has proven to be the best villager there is. Finally, I built the winner of Squid Game a house using 456 emerald blocks and brought it to the house. Yes, sir. All right. And we're in here, and the villager is safe. Anime Slayer has survived the journey. The first ever squid game in Minecraft with villagers was a success. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for watching. This project took over 200 hours, so please leave a like and make sure to hit that subscribe button. I streamed the building of this on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash dashpum4. Go follow there if you want to see me do crazy builds like this live.